how do I know if my project is an agile project or not? Ask yourself questions to determine whether the project characteristics fit an agile project. For example, does the customer want to be involved in the development process and have input along the way? Is the customer willing to receive an initial product quickly and then enhance the versions over time? Is the delivery time frame a short one or a year tops? Or is it more of a multi-year project, very complex, very formal, bureaucratic, etc., and so on? You get the picture. When you put the project to the test with these types of questions and others you can think of, you will be able to answer yourself whether the project is suitable for Agile or not. Trust your instinct. Trust what you have learned. Is Agile suitable for any type of project? No. Agile is not suitable for any and every project, but it is for the vast majority of projects. Is Agile only for IT projects? No, it isn't. Agile was born in IT, but it is used across all industries. So people use Agile for sales, operations, procurement, marketing projects, and more. Pretty much for anything you can think of. People even use it for things such as planning weddings. So for their personal projects as well. Is it true that Agile means no planning and no documentation? No, nothing is further from the truth. In Agile, you plan and document all the time, but you keep it lean. You do it quickly and efficiently. You don't write 50-page documents that nobody is going to read. If you write something, you keep it short and simple. You perform planning in your sprint planning sessions prior to starting every sprint, and you document all the time by writing down your user stories. You also document your retrospectives, and before starting your project, you also perform due diligence, business plan, resourcing, etc., like you would on any other project. Do I have to stick by the book? E.g., do I really need to meet with the team daily for 15 minutes, the stand-up? Nobody can force you. That is entirely up to you. Agile as a methodology encourages you to do so, and that's the theory. But let's take this to the real world. We all know that practice varies from theory. Say, for example, you are working on 10 projects at the same time. Yes, it happens. If you are meeting 15 minutes for each project, that means you will be spending 150 minutes of your day just in stand-ups, which would be completely inefficient and unproductive. So you might need to turn your daily stand-up to a weekly stand-up for some of those projects. Yes, I know, this is not ideal or what theory dictates, but we have to adapt. We have to be flexible, the agile way. Another option would be to talk to your manager so you can only focus on a few major priorities. What is the best way to start doing Agile? Like anything else, practice, practice, practice. It's not hard and you will enjoy working with Agile. Like anything new, it might seem different at the beginning and maybe even weird, but over time, you will get the hang of it and start to feel more and more like an expert. Next time you're in a room full of people and someone asks about you what a user story is or what the word retrospective means, you will be able to explain that without any issues. Can you provide an example of a company that offers Agile certifications? I would prefer something more formal, like the PMI. Sure, there are many. Depending on the country you're citing, you will find different options. In Australia, Asia, Europe, and the US, an example is Rally. Here are other examples of companies providing Agile certifications. The PMI itself, the Scrum Alliance, Scrum.org, APMG International, and CollabNet. But feel free to Google Agile certification. You will find many other options.
Is there an equivalent to the PMI, Project Management Institute, for Agile? No, not really. There are many companies offering Agile certifications, and they charge from 500 up to thousands of dollars to teach you pretty much what you will learn and what you've learned in this audiobook. Yes, trust me, I have been in many Agile training sessions with different companies in different countries. They might go into more depth and take hours to teach you about user story, but in essence, the training you will go through is the same. Having said that, if you do want to go to a more detailed training or a face-to-face -face event, please do so. How can I get Agile certified? Easy. Take the Agile Crash Course on Udemy.com and download your certificate. You can even add this to your CV. Just put it under Professional Development, add the title of the course, Agile Crash Course, the year of completion, and where you obtained your certification. In this case, Udemy. If a company asks you for evidence, send them your certificate as an attachment via email. Although, you should know I have never had anyone ask me for one of my many Agile certificates. Like, I have never had a company ask me for my degree as an engineer. I can send all of these, of course, but I have never received that request. So don't worry too much about formalities and add this to your CV. Does Agile equate to Scrum? Are they equal or the same thing? Technically, no. In reality, yes. Allow me to explain. Scrum is one of the many Agile methodologies, but Scrum is the most popular and widely used of all Agile methodologies. Hence, when people are talking about Agile, they are generally referring to Scrum. Most people don't even know there are other methodologies besides Scrum. Is Agile only for developers and project managers? No, it isn't. Agile is for anyone and for everyone. There are people from different roles, countries, regions, industries, etc. applying Agile in their projects. Agile myths. Agile is anti-documentation. Agile is anti-planning. Agile is undisciplined. Agile requires a lot of rework. Agile is anti-architecture. Agile doesn't scale. Agile solves everything. And Agile is only for IT projects. So giving Agile is a mystery for a lot of people because they don't know what it is or don't understand it. Well, there are a lot of myths or misconceptions around Agile. And I would like to clarify about all of them so that you don't believe any of them. Let's start with a very common misconception about Agile. Agile is anti-documentation, and Agile says we shouldn't document anything. Documenting is worthless, completely untrue, false, and a huge misconception around Agile. Agile has never said we shouldn't document. On the contrary, with Agile, you are documenting all the time. Think about user stories or retrospectives. You are documenting. What Agile wants you to understand, though, is that you shouldn't spend hours and hours documenting. Keep it simple and keep it lean. I've also heard from a lot of people, especially business analysts, say that Agile is anti-planning. Again, nothing would be further from the truth. In Agile, you are planning all the time and probably a lot more often than you would in any other project management methodology. Before you start any sprint, you will be doing a short and focused planning session which in Agile is called Spring Planning. At the beginning of this chapter, we started with a lot of other misconceptions around Agile, and I'm not going to go over each and every one in detail because they're pretty straightforward and I'm sure you get the picture, but let's go over the last two. Agile solves everything. No, it doesn't. Agile is a framework, a methodology, and it can help you with a lot of things, but it's not perfect and it's not going to save the world or solve all of your problems. You have to be creative and proactive to solve your problems. You have to act, not just think. You have to work with people and together find the best solution. 
you have to collaborate, research, and benchmark to solve your problems, to name a few examples. But like I said before, Agile will help you in your journey. And finally, my personal favorite and one of the biggest misconceptions around Agile is that Agile is only for IT projects. No, it's not. Agile was born in the IT industry, but it is currently used across pretty much every industry in the world. And people even use it for personal projects such as planning weddings and so on. If you want to see example of Agile in different industries, just Google it. Google Agile in tourism or Agile in sales. You will be surprised to find how many people and companies are using Agile in the world. Trust me, a lot and not just people in IT. The Agile Knowledge Base, agilekb.com. The Agile Knowledge Base is the world's largest Agile online community and free resource for Agile knowledge. It's a place where Agilists, Agile enthusiasts, Agile supporters, Agile advocates, Agile experts, and people in general gather to learn more about Agile and to share Agile knowledge and Agile experiences with each other. The Agile Knowledge Base, also known as AgileKB.com, was founded in 2018 by Mauricio Rubio, an Agile guru. It launched from Sydney, Australia, but was designed